part of the problem Romney has, they just don't, there's a part of the Republican primary electorate, they just don't trust him, whether it's his health care plan that he passed when he was um, governor or any other, he's flip-flopped on some issues. There's just a lack of a trust factor among some of the people in his primary. And I don't know how he gets that back. I don't know, because as I said earlier, they've gone through everybody. They just will. He does r run consistently second or third. But how does he get these people back to trusting that I am the Republican that you, you know, can be your nominee? Well, and I, he hadn't done do that, that yet. Yeah, he has to tell the Mil Mil real Mitt Romney story. He has to talk about, you know, the skills he has used to lead corporations, to bring the Olympics back, and in his own personal and private life. He's been a very generous man. He's worked for charities. He's worked in the community. For whatever reason, the Romney campaign has been reluctant to talk about that side of Mitt Romney, and I think that can address and reassure these voters on the authenticity issue, but they haven't gone there yet. Well, I think another thing, too, is that he's always been kind of consistently, as Screvin said, second. And there is a danger to being the number one front runner. As we've seen, the mole that sticks its head up gets whacked on the head. And that's what's going to happen to Newt Gingrich. We're already starting to see it right now. And that's what happened to every other front runner that we had. It happened to Herman Cain, and we saw it happen to Rick Perry and the rest of them. So I think from that perspective, running right behind, you want to peak at the right moment. So I think running second is one thing. The other thing is we've had nine, eight, eight, seven, eight, nine candidates running. So if you have eight or nine candidates running, each one of those candidates is going to appeal to a certain part of the Republican constituency. I'd argue it would be very difficult for any candidate to get you know, a, a significant percentage um, with that. But I think another thing for um, Governor Romney is he's run a very, I don't know if I would use the word moderate, but he hasn't appeared on Fox News, for instance, a lot, which many other candidates have. Gingrich has a lot. And he hasn't um, really uh, designated his appeals towards the right wing of the Republican Party. And so for him, I think that's something that he, I, I'm going to watch to see how he manages through Iowa and through New Hampshire. The other piece is, is that the, the nomination process isn't a national poll. It's a state by state contest. And these polls are going to change after Iowa, after New Hampshire, after South Carolina, and after Florida. We're going to see a lot of dynamism in the polls depending on who wins those states.